there and welcome to this Epsilon Radio Studio tutorial. Today we will be making a really really simple application that's called Hello World. As you might have heard when you make a new uh, or learn something new related to programming, you often start by making a program that can either display or print Hello World in the console. Which is exactly what we're going to make today. So uh, I've uh, put up some uh, some uh, mobile smartphone here where we're just going to draw what we're going to make and it's really really simple we are going to display an image of a globe uh, of planet earth here yeah that's earth and then we are going to write hello world like that on top of the globe and that's what we're going to do. Um, to get to this point where I am now, you should create a new project. You do that by going to the Project Explorer here, right-clicking, selecting New Mobile App Project. Here you'll get the choice uh, if you want to make a classic or an alloy application. The difference between those is that in alloy, Absolutator has already uh, set up a structure of the way you code. And classic is a more free way of doing it. Um, it, it opens a bit more freedom to you. Uh, you can do things the way you want, but there are also some some uh, things uh, that you need to correct. Uh, alloy is a bit more strict, but it's also working a bit better. So classic is a bit more open. You can make what you want, uh, but you have to do it yourself. And I think that's cool because. It, it, we have no limits when we use Classic, and if you get used to Classic, then you can build up a really, really great system. So that's what you're going to do. You hit Next here, you specify a project name, could be Hello World. And under App ID, there are three things. Uh, the basic structure is this, name. Uh, so code is uh, what uh, a domain name would be called, for example, google.com. Uh, if that's the case in your country, then you're going to write com dot your company name, which is watches in my case, and then you specify the app name. So you say hello world. So it's going to look like that. Uh, yeah, you, uh, here you can select which platform you want to deploy on. I only have the Android emulator here, so you can. Uh, but if you're on a Mac, you can select iOS or iPad, uh, or if you have the Windows SDK, you can select Windows here. But so far, I'm just using Android, which is totally fine. All right, you've created the project. You've gotten this Hello World uh, application here. The file we're going to use is called app.js. Let's open it here. And my app.js is already blank. It's because I've deleted the sample application that that uh, Absolute Studio brings up when you create a new project. But um, if you want to see how a sample application looks, then you should run it and look at the code, and then you'll get some basic idea of how Titanium Studio works or Absolute Studio works. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is to um, make a window. So we say var window equals ti.ui.create window. Like that. Um, so if you know nothing about JavaScript, then I'll link you a tutorial on JavaScript in the description because you need to know a little JavaScript before you start. Okay, so we create a window, you say we could also say var something else equals ti dot ui dot and you see all the possibilities that we can create here animation button label and so on but we're going to create a window and a window contains all the things here um, so we have the window we've created it we need to open it we simply say window dot and you see all the things you can do with the window we say window dot open we save the code and we go back to our emulator here and we see that our window has opened now let's try to make the background color of the window white so in here we say background color 
colon and in here you can specify color you can just type white you can also use a hex code or an RGB code and you see the, the background color has turned white okay so now let's display hello world so we need to create a label say var label equals ti.ui.createLabel and then we have created the label we just need to specify what the text of the label is and um, that is hello world and then we need to add it to the window so we say window.add label save it go to this one and you see it displays hello world in here it's a bit gray so let's just make the text black you just say color black and you see it's a bit more clear now alright so um, since we don't want the text to be in the exact center we want it to be somewhere up here and there's a property called top um, which is the distance uh, from the top of the window to the label so if I set the top to like 30 save it and go back you'll see that the distance between the top thing here and the top of the label is 30 so if I increase it it will go further down like 60 and then it's down there which is probably where we want it okay so we've gotten to that point now we just need to add our globe image here so we create a new folder in our project called images just for the structure and I have already found a nice picture here of globe I'll just drag it into that folder say that we want to copy it so you see it's in here globe.png and what we do here is we create what's called an image view so we say var image equals image view. hang on create image image view there we go and the basic parameters of an image view is that you need to specify the path of the image that you're using so say image and it's in the images folder so you start by with with a slash here you say images slash globe.png so that you point it to the where to where the globe image is and we need to of course add window dot add the image there we go the reason it does not show up is because we need to relaunch our emulator when we add new files to the project so what we're going to do here is just close it and rerun the emulator by just clicking the arrow here it's gonna take a while <laughs> and then we see we have an image of a globe that's just too big to fit in uh, so we need to specify the width and the height of this globe here we do that by adding two new properties one called width let's set it to 50 and no 50 let's say 70 and a height called 70 and you see it's in the middle here we've displayed hello world and we have a globe Alright, so you've learned how to make an application. If you had an Android device or an iOS device or a Windows Phone device, it would be really cool to see that you can run it on the device. Gives them uh, a better way of testing it, in my opinion at least. Alright, so see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then either leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel, since that's the only way I know if the 
if the content I deliver to you is good or bad. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.